What's up, everybody? Go Burns, welcoming you to another episode of my Discuss series. It's an opportunity for us to have a discussion, whether it's about certain video games on the channel, like Mafia 3, Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead, gaming in general. And you're always welcome to submit your uh, Discuss topics for future episodes via the comment section, Twitter, Facebook, or email, goburns at gmail.com. And this idea came from episode 6 of my Mafia 3 Stones Unturned Let's Play. I had an idea regarding uh, a potential prequel that ties into another IP. Let me slow down real quick. Okay, I want to talk about it because I think it's a cool idea. And basically this idea came from this expansion regarding, you know, Donovan and Lincoln Clay in Stones Unturned. And obviously the, the prequel would be set in uh, Vietnam, you know, when, you know, Donovan and Lincoln first meet and the missions they go on, the bond that they make, everything that happens, maybe even a few other characters as well that they interact with. But there's also another uh, gaming franchise that was uh, partially made by Illusion, which later on became uh, 2K Check, and eventually uh, it got picked up by 2K Games, Undertake 2. And some of you probably know what I'm going to say, Viet Cong! Yes, Viet Cong. So we've had several Viet Cong games, Viet Cong and a, a Viet Cong 2. But what if they made a Viet Cong game that was all about Donovan and Lincoln? Wouldn't that be fucking sweet? I mean, it would it would kind of tie you know the Viet Cong universe and the Mafia franchise together. Two separate IPs, but they could they would have a connection, you know, because of Lincoln and Lincoln and Donovan. And I think it would be sweet because people really like Lincoln and Donovan. They want to see more of that. And what better way to do it, Hangar 13? In case you're listening than uh, a Viet Cong game. Plus, it's already a franchise that 2K Games has. It's perfect! I just thought that that'd be kind of a cool idea for an I for a, you know, a prequel that that's not Mafia, but at the same time would, you know, give Hangar 13 an excuse to, you know, bring Donovan and Lincoln back together. And since there's already a, a franchise that exists under the 2K umbrella, which was... Like I mentioned, originally co-developed by 2K Chech before they became 2K Chech. It's perfect, I think. I think it's it's too perfect not to end up being a thing. It's just my opinion about it. So the basic premise I came up with, as I just mentioned, younger me from days gone by, well, just a few days, is that since 2K has both IPs, Mafia 3, as well as Viet Cong, and since Mafia 3 is set in the late 60s and the protagonist served in the Vietnam War, and chances are there's going to be a, a future Mafia game, probably without Lincoln Clay, or else he'll have a cameo or something similar to Vito having a smaller role in Mafia 3 as opposed to his larger role in Mafia 2. The best way to you know bring back Lincoln Clay and John Donovan would be in a prequel to Mafia 3, which would also serve as, I guess, a prequel to uh, Viet Cong, even though it's been a while since there was a Viet Cong game. So anyways, I asked you guys a few days ago on Twitter, uh, did you guys have any two cents regarding this particular idea? So we're going to go over your two cents, your ideas regarding this Mafia Viet Cong prequel featuring Donovan and Lincoln Clay in the jungles of Vietnam. First off, we go to Bart. He says, as long as 2K Check is making it, then yeah. Now, the issue with 2K Check is they're not as big of a developer as they used to be. They did help with uh, Mafia 3, and obviously, originally they were Illusion. And they made a lot of awesome games, including the original Mafia game, City of Lost Heaven, Mafia 2, and they co-developed Viet Cong. So I think that 2K Check would be involved, along with Hangar 13, in the making of this uh, premise, this idea, for a prequel set probably in uh, the Viet Cong franchise. 
But hopefully Bart, 2K Check, will be involved in future projects for 2K along with Take Two. Next, we go to Can't Think of a Name. I like the Viet Cong idea. It allow us to see more of these guys without them turning their back on what makes this the Mafia series. And that was the point entirely because I feel like it's time for Mafia to go back to focusing more on the mafioso, you know, aspects, you know, the Italian mob. And I think that's something a lot of the Mafia fans would like to see as well. You know, Mafia-type games, the original City of Lost Heaven, as well as Mafia 2. And I loved Mafia 3, by the way. And yes, the Mafia was featured, the Italian mob under Sal Marcano. But it would be cool if the next Mafia installment, whether it's a sequel or prequel, We'll just go back to, you know, the uh, formula of the first two Mafia games. But at the same time, as I mentioned, I do like the idea of finding a way to keep Donovan and Lincoln Clay around. And what better way than to go backwards in time and see what it was like when they first teamed up in Vietnam, along with the, uh, you know, ops they were involved with, the major battles, as well as skirmishes and everything else in between. Another reason why I think it would be a brilliant idea for there to be some sort of a prequel set maybe in Via Kong with Lincoln Clay and Donovan. Plus, it'd be another way of bringing back a, you know a franchise that's currently on the shelves. Next, we go to CJ Ware. He loves the prequel idea. Well, I'm glad you love it, CJ. And I think a few people did as well. But not everybody, but that's the point of these discuss video is to get everybody's opinion, whether you agree or disagree. It's okay. And you can chime in below in the comment section about your thoughts, your views, your opinions regarding this Mafia 3 Viet Cong prequel idea, premise, whatever. Next, we go to Donnie Brasco. Hey, Go Burns. Love the Viet Cong idea practically. A completely different game, only with characters we already love. Plus, you can actually jog while carrying a body. Okay, so apparently I didn't realize that because, like, uh, I was carrying bodies all nice and slow like uh, Jason Voorhees in Friday the 13th, the game. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, duly noted, Donnie, uh, I will endeavor to uh, figure out how to uh, jog while carrying bodies that I have knocked unconscious with my tranquilizer. By the way, I hope you guys enjoyed my Let's Play of Stones Unturned. And yeah, I'm going to be uh, covering any information as well as Let's Playing and reviewing Sign of the Times, the third and the final Mafia 3 expansion whenever it comes out perhaps around late July. I think that's what a lot of us are projecting, so hopefully it'll come out sometime late July, early, early August. And when it does, obviously I'm gonna play it and review it. Next, we go to Jay Brown off of Gmail, goburns at gmail.com. As much as I like Lincoln and Donovan and appreciate the time they were able to spend together in Stones Unturned, I wouldn't be super enthused by a game featuring them. I don't think Hangar 13 has the skill to pull off a full-blown third-person shooter with a lot of missions that are interesting and creative. I'd much rather see Hangar 13 take another stab at open-world games and deliver a productive, improved Mafia 4, which takes the best of Mafia 3 and adds to what's missing you know, from Mafia City of Lost Heaven as well as Mafia 2, along with new ideas and features such as being able to purchase properties and cars. A Vietnam-centric prequel would be fun, but at this point, I'm ready to meet new characters in the Mafiaverse. Tommy Angelo got his name with Sam and Polly. Vito and Joe and Henry got theirs. Lincoln and Donovan made their big appearance in Mafia 3. With Vito returning as a side character, I'd much rather see a new cast of characters, maybe with Donovan appearing as a side character in Mafia 4. As much as I'd enjoy Donovan as a character, I really want to see the Mafia series return to its roots. Not linear storytelling and strong characters. Well, not, not linear storytelling, but with strong characters. I think that's what Jay Brown meant. He wants strong characters and a strong story, obviously. I'm talking about the roots of the word mafia, Italian, Sicilian, American organized crime, set in the first several decades of the 20th century. And uh, to be honest, I don't think that Mafia 4 is going to be the next game for Hangar 13. Because as a developer, you kind of want to move on to something else, even if you do eventually come back to that IP, that franchise. And I think that they have learned a lot from Mafia 3. Granted that they're a new developing house, or they were a new developing house, with experienced developers and writers and programmers. 
And uh, they had a lot to learn when they made Mafia 3 from scratch, you know, built it from the ground up. And hopefully they've, they've learned a lot. Hopefully they've gotten better. And I think that, you know, we will see a future Mafia game somewhere down the road. But you also have to bear in mind the amount of time that passed between uh, Mafia, the first Mafia set in 2002, to Mafia 2 when it came out in 2010, to Mafia 3 when it came out in 2016. So I don't see a Mafia 4 coming anytime soon. I mean, maybe in the next four years or so. But I think Hair 13, unless I'm wrong, is most likely going to focus on something else entirely. And what better IP to focus on than, you know, one set in the Vietnam War because they already have a pretty good writing staff along with uh, Bill Harms. And, you know, they did their research really good and thoroughly. So they could easily go back and look at the key battles, the key skirmishes, uh, the things that were happening during Lincoln and Donovan's time in Vietnam. And these are two characters they've already fleshed out and established. And they have this whole backstory they can explore. Plus, like I mentioned, you know, Viet Cong is another one of these IPs at 2K sitting on the shelf, waiting to be taken off, dust and, you know, see what happens when they take another crack at it. But I believe that, you know, with Stones Unturned, we got an idea of what Hangar 13 could do with a war-themed game like Viet Cong and with the right characters, like, you know, leading it with Lincoln, Donovan, a few new guys and girls as well, and different, you know, points of views regarding the war, you know, different conflicts and issues they had personally. Some were drafted some chose to go and fight, you know, for patriotic reasons, as well as the point of view of the NBA and the Viet Cong as well, why they were fighting, along with why those were fighting for South Vietnam. So uh, a lot of story there, a lot of back and forth that's very complex, and I think it would make a fantastic game for uh, any developer to uh, tackle, and what better IP to use than one that's already established, i.e., uh, the uh, Viet Cong uh, franchise, which has been on the shelves for quite some time now. But, Jay Brown, I do think that we will see a new Mafia game somewhere down the road. I just don't think it's going to be the next game from Hangar 13. But then again, I could be wrong. But there's also the idea that they have built a lot of um, you know things, a lot of elements, props, etc. from the 60s, along with a lot of the uh, military hardware not just from Mafia 3 Story, but from most recently from Stones Unturned, that they, they could easily you know, use in a Viet Cong you know, prequel to Mafia 3. So there, there's a lot of reasons why I think it would make sense for them to do uh, a video game like this. Plus, there's really not that many uh, Vietnam-themed games that have come out in recent years. So just like with uh, Call of Duty bringing back uh, World War II into the forefront, this could be a way that uh, 2K... And uh, Hangar 13 also does the same with the Vietnam War. Now, despite the fact that we obviously disagree, Jesse, I still fully respect your opinion, and you always make very good points. Next, we move on to Michael Carlisle. That would be a great idea, but I kind of prefer a full game showing Vito with the 504th Airborne in Italy. So this is something else that people would much rather have than, you know, the idea that I brought forth, which is fantastic because that's what the Discuss series is about. Different people's ideas. Jay Brown wants Mafia 4. Meanwhile, Michael Carlisle would rather have a prequel to Mafia 2 following Vito during his time in World War II. So I definitely think that there's uh, some room to go back and explore some of Vito's time while he served in the military following what happened to him in Empire Bay, his younger years when he got in trouble with the law, thanks in part to his good buddy Joe. You know, and plus, you know, it's an another very popular character in the Mafia franchise. And you can make this a prequel or its own creature as well. Obviously not Viet Cong, but it'd still be kind of cool if, you know, they eventually, you know, did find a way to bring Vito into a future game. Whether it's a sequel to Mafia 3 or, for some reason, a prequel to Mafia 2, it still would be kind of cool, though. Now, speaking of sequels and prequels, we already did a Discuss video regarding Mafia sequels and prequels some time ago. And my awesome subscribers, as always, chimed in with some great ideas. I highly recommend you check out that video if you haven't had a chance to do so. 
And finally, we go to Young Knight. It would be interesting seeing them go to Vietnam, showing them actually Bond. Also, meeting Lincoln's friends would be engaging. And that's another thing. I would like to see, you know, the experiences that happened to Lincoln and Donovan during their time in Vietnam when they first met. How did that go down? When did they actually start to become friends? How did they bond? Was it because Lincoln saved uh, Donovan's life or vice versa? And who are some other, you know, friends of theirs and members of their little clique, their little group, their squad? And what happened to them? Did they make it out alive or, you know, were they lost in the fires of the Vietnam War? It would be very interesting to see all of that and more concerning a potential Mafia 3 Viet Cong prequel, obviously featuring Lincoln Clay and Donovan. Now, I have a personal reason why I like this idea. It's because coming up in just a few weeks from now is the 50th anniversary of the death of an uncle I never got to know, Lance Corporal Victor Burns. He uh, was drafted and he served in the United States Marine Corps during the Vietnam War. And unfortunately, you know, he was KIA'd along with uh, several others as well, you know, several as in 60,000 Americans losing their lives, plus who knows how many Vietnamese died as well, fighting for both the North and the South. It was a very bloody war. And, you know, I, you know, think that it's important that we remember the lives that were lost along with how, you know, bloody and how awful of a conflict that was. And one of the ways that we remember is through video games, you know, movies, TV shows, books, etc. And that's a big reason why I would like to see this as an idea. A Mafia 3 Viet Cong prequel featuring Lincoln and Donovan. Plus, they're two great characters and they got a lot of chemistry. So I think that there definitely is potential for, you know, this kind of game. A, you know, continuation of the Viet Cong franchise featuring two characters we already know and love. Plus, like I said, I feel like Hangar 13's gotten better since they first started. They've learned a lot. They've listened to feedback from the fans. And I think eventually they will get another shot at Mafia. And hopefully they'll do uh, a much better job. But understandably, I get the feeling that they're going to be moving on to something else before they go back to Mafia. And what better place to go than, you know, Vietnam? You know, it's a perfect opportunity and, you know, they have a great writing team as well, which, you know, like I said, Bill Harms, his team, fantastic writers. They're great at doing research as well as developing characters, dialogue, plot, story, etc. So anyways, that's uh, my idea that that was worth making a discuss video out of. Let me know below in the comment section whether you agree with me or uh, Jay Brown or with Michael, or you have a completely different idea as well. Feel free and let us know below in the comments section.